Hey everyone, welcome back to Chill Gaming Desynced Part 5 Let's Play. Um, right, we are going to carry on with our expansion. As you can see, I've laid down some pa um, some metal paving slabs, whatever they call the things. These things. Foundation plates, there you go, those. Um, I've expanded the mining drones, I've added a few. I've built our first solar farm to keep up with the power. I've added a couple of extra factories to these and, and done it so they're full. Everything is full, sitting there waiting for us to do something. I've also started the silicon uh, mining. So I've got two miners sitting up here that fill this storage up and then two gophers that will take it from that storage to this storage and then from this storage down to this storage. And this is our first silicon um, tube I think it is or just silicon um, for that research so we'll start that going now so we can start the ball rolling and we'll see how we get on with that and then the next thing I've got to do is we're constantly usually we're usually running out of these circuits and the reinforced plates um, so what I've got to do is do a new type of factory when this research is done using the uh, new buildings, the, storage, uh, the existing storages but it's all courtesy of Nihilus um, I think that's how you pronounce his name, the other content creator He's uh, he does some good stuff, he's similar to me, he loves these kind of games um, but uh, I'll be using his um, blueprints because it's optimised and uh, it just makes sense <laughs> But yeah, so um, we're going to do that. We'll wait through for this to research to complete, and then we'll go from there and see how uh, it progresses. Right, while we're waiting for this, I've just added another or built another research pylon for the um, command center. So we should be doubling the speed that research happens now. I will put them on their um, own individual double M blocks similar to these, two next to each other or something. So four at some point. But yeah, we'll carry on waiting for this to finish. Right, it should be too much longer now before that um, research is done and then we can continue expanding. I'm going to put another couple of solar panels over here because we will run out of power. So we're actually generating 1650. We are at the threshold of a revolutionary discovery. Gateway technology will be a leap forward in our knowledge and understanding. It will grant us the ability to create superior materials, vital for repairing our ship. Moreover, we can learn to construct an advanced computer simulator that will assist us in understanding the mysterious nature of this world. Okay, right. We are limited in technological advancements, though I recommend we investigate the planet's surface to gather intel. Several types of ruined structures can be found. They should provide insight into new technologies to help us progress. Cool. Right, let's look at what other... <coughs> excuse me. What other research we can do. So, we've got expanded power, which we'll definitely need, because that gives us the wind turbine on an M. Uh, socket uh, and these go on the plateaus and you also get the medium capacitor port for shield general is okay but I haven't used it much but the, the medium capacitor is great uh, it gives you so much more and then you've got the medium turret as well so we'll set research for that because we've got all the materials we will need to go out um, we will have these eventually we'll have enough of those but we'll have to go and explore these ruins to get some more of these because I think we've only got two so um, we'll do that when we get round to it. It's already started the research on this, so let's make sure that's online, that's online, that's online, so we can carry on producing. Okay, right, so our next stage will be to start producing copper wire. Now, um, we're going to build these um, in these blueprints that I mentioned before. We've got the um, it's called a factory hub in this, but it's if I go to our production, 
Uh, what do they call these things here? Oh, it's not on there. Just the default. Right, it's a 2x2 two two, uh, medium building. And it, as you can see, it's that kind of size. And what I do with these is, I say these are Nihilus' ones, but I will, um, I'm basically putting down a factory input, which is where all of the materials to supply the factories comes in. Nothing is output to it. You put next to that a output factory, which is the opposite, so only the output of the factories goes into it. You have um, above that uh, this 2x2 two two, um, M factory hub, he calls it. And what happens is all of the input materials go into this, and then they're used via the teleport to be distributed around the factories that, that surround it. Um, and any finished product comes back into this and goes to the factory output. So it's like a central hub with a teleporter that brings everything to everything and from everything. So it brings all the inputs, uh, materials, and then outputs all of the finished products. So it's very handy. And then around them, depending on what factories you need, you either have two robotics, two assemblers, or two fabricators. Um, now, if I recall, fabricators are the only ones that can make these. I'll have a look in a minute. But if that's the case, then it'd be two of these buildings that goes around the storage and the hub. But before we actually build any of those, we need to start producing the teleporter. So I'm probably gonna stick that down here. So if we stick um, the default buildings, and I might do two. What size is that? Right, so we either go I think we go down, so we leave a gap for a storage there, then you do two, which is that. So it's three in total. Because one's for the storage and two are for the bots to go through. So we'll stick that there, and this will have to have a storage in front of it. As will the solar panels. And then we'll start mass doing these when it gets to it. Stick one of those on that. Oh, excellent. We've now got uh, the research done for the wind turbine, so power shouldn't be such a, a major problem. Well, that's the plan anyway. So tell that to output to this. Tell that we want that to build. Yeah, it's as I thought. Um, it's too small um, to do the. Uh, the, the wire that we need, right? We need these portable transporters for an item, and then what will happen is, is that will come through and instantly be produced. So we'll stick the other assembler on there when that's gone. And I'll tell that to produce two. But that's not going to produce until we get the simple wire. So what we're going to do up here is do another spare factory that's just going to solely produce um, temporarily the wire and then we will delete it. Well I suppose I could do a 2M and do the factory here. So if we go above this to there, rotate this around Obviously, we've got to allow the two gaps here. So we'll go there to this first factory will be. And then you have the storages, the input and the output, the 2M two uh, two sitting here, the building, and then all these factories surround it. That's eventually, and it'll be the same for all these other buildings that we do here. They'll be just dotted around. But this is a temporary thing at the minute. I'm trying to get it so. Um, we can do a temporary build. So we're going to need some of those. Let's wait for this to build and then we can start hopefully the copper wire production. So we're already out of these. The little bots are ferrying around. I'll probably have to build a robotics factory similar to this setup here where we've got one of each that produces anything and everything. Um, I'll have to stick this robotic arm 
on one of them that not only produces the robotic arms, but maybe can have a bit of factory to produce uh, bots, we'll see. That needs seven more. Right, as soon as this is done and I get the little factory in, uh, we'll start the process. Right, um, this is built and we've started the production of the a uh, couple of wires. I've built two transport modules from this and I've stuck them in the first two main storages as you can see they're sitting here um, and the reason for that is is that within one circle around that um, square around that building so I one of these squares around it it will teleport anything from and to so these now will all just teleport to this without needing a bot to come to them and this Oh, let's get out of that. We'll teleport to that, which it's doing, and that. Right, so now I can totally surround these buildings with the production facility, so like, i.e. another two down here and here, so the robots can't get to it, or these bots can't get to it, but it'll automatically do itself because of the teleporter. So very handy. And the 2x2 two two <coughs> M building, uh, as I was telling you about, that we're going to start building, um, that utilizes that but I need to make sure what other items that needs to make sure I've got everything ready so that does the signal reader which we've got the portal teleporter what do these other buildings need um, what's that it's just a behavior module oops yeah, that's just a behavior module behavior module um, so the small fabricator right so that's a mining interesting why do you call it it's just a small fabricator and it's got miners on it anyway right um, we'll look at these so this factory hub is just basically a I wonder why he's done that he's got just two medium batteries on them so none of these are any different, we can build them all. Um, yeah, okay. So the other thing we need to start building is medium batteries. Um, and let's see what's involved with building those. So we'll need the, the turbines, which uh, we've basically got everything for. This is why we need loads of copper wire. Um, we can build that already. That'd be easy enough to do. Um, what else is there that I'm missing? Oh, the medium turret. So yeah, we could do that. That's got, the thing is that'll have to go on a building. We'll have to build a small one because these little ro um, bots that we've got are all small. Um, unless we put some medium buildings up. So we'll um, at some point get them to the natives. The, uh, I don't know, call them biters in fact, or I can't remember what they're called in this thing, but nasty little buggers right so um, what else is it we need to build oh we can do the robots so if I switch and change one of these over we've now got the twin bot which is two smalls as opposed to the dash bot with one small and it's also got two internals as opposed to one um, I will slowly but surely replace the whole of my robots with these and decommission if it can be done uh, the old bots because they carry uh, it's got four storage slots as well the other ones only had two so it's a much better thing to have um, a whole fleet of those so but to do that we're going to need um, to up our copper wire circuits and energized plates big time because it'll use them all right so if we start how many we got of these now so these are all being used to go down here i would imagine yeah so this is nearly full and going to stop production soon. Once that's done, what else have we got here? So this needs to start up soon. So we've got loads of those, but we've got no circuits. You can see, just this one, the portable teleport is using all of our produce. But the good news is we've got oversupply of the basics that some of them need. So plates and stuff like that, we've got plenty. This, we just cannot produce them quick enough now, so um, this will be probably our first factory that I'll work on. 
and then it'd be the uh, the reinforced plates because we will run out of those and the energized plates and then the uh, copper wire so I will start building those and you'll see the plan I'll explain it to you um, as well as we go along so I'll go through the first one so if we go to um, the uh, factory first of all which is going to be one of these and remember we've got a two gap between the buildings so if we went to I might carry along here with um, these ad hoc factories as we need different bits so if I go up to away from those out to so start here put one down and then stick next to that the input factory next to that the output factory and then above those uh, factories storage should I say um, above the storages we stick this medium hub just there and I'll rotate these round so I like that now we'll let those build and I'll show you um, what the next stage is right okay so they've just literally been built and then what you do is you set your storage now I've set mine to reinforce plates for these and what you do is you click um, you either unlock or unfix all slots now usually these have a little padlock on there's nothing in them so what you do is you un unlock them all and then say fix all slots to an item so pick the item that you want to make so in my case it's those and then you go to this visual uh, side because if you go into the programming this is what he's done he's setting it to a value and the value if you look at the uh, this is arrows in the middle here and then there's a round thing here which is this and that basically um, is what work sets this all off off so if you go into um, the storage there the visual and you tell it what you want to make it's what I've done so yes it's instantly picked up on it the behavior that I was just showing you which will tell this thing here um, when you select it, where it's going to so the output is going there and it picks up by the program by the signal reader that's got into it what the factory that you've outputted to is requiring and it instantly sets it up what's to come in now what I do here is I unlock uh, I fix a slot and then lock it to that item because what sometimes happens with this building is it fills up with all the inputs that come in from this building here and then there's no room for an output especially when all the buildings are full and then you will never get an output back in this building unless it finds a gap whereas if you lock one you're always guaranteed to get an output which will instantly throw it out to this output here and then if you go to the inputs you look at this first of all so your reinforced plates needs bar two bars and one um, standard plate so you set here fix slot to an item your bars fix slot to an item your plates and then you just repeat it and it's always important to lock them otherwise you'll get more than one item and then when you go into the behavior it has here um, get space for an item well you obviously don't want that you tell it what item is that you need more of so you have to play with this and pick one um, and if you're getting too much of the arm switch it back to the other one and say OK and then the minute you press um, play or start the bots will pick up on it that uh, it requires items and then all you do is you click this store, uh, input right click control right click it's now going to send everything that comes into this um, middle storage and then the factory you literally just right click control right click the um, this side uh, the middle 2 by m and it's automatically picked up that it's going to be producing uh, what this is picked up from the output storage so it's a clever way of doing things you can see and when it gets going um, do I play that yeah I did right this so now these are all unlocked so if we do unfix slot unfix slot and then we'll fix slot to this item unfix slot we've got to get a plate at some point there you go it's a fixed slot to this item so you're always guaranteed to be able to at least get one of each 
on those. So I'm going to do two of this, which up to this item, and two of those. And then the rest can stay as they are. And as you can see, it's now producing reinforced plates. They go straight out into this, and then it, oh, it's already produced six. And then all you do is uh, to expand this, you just C and V next to it. So copy and then paste it next to it. And it will remember every setting that you've already told this to do. So I control right click this middle building. So it will look exactly this and do exactly the same. It'll just pull resources from this middle building and output to the middle building, which outputs to your factory output, which is there. So it's clever stuff. I'll take my hats off to Nihilus. He's, uh, whether he's done it himself or he's learned from another creator, it doesn't matter. We're all here to help each other. Um, but that's the way my thinking is, in a way. And this is the same procedure that you've done here uh, to every product that you want to make use in these factories. It's exactly the same. Hopefully you've understood it. If you haven't, give me a shout in the comments and I'll try to do my best to help you. Um, but that's going to about wrap it up um, for this um, part or episode. Um, I look forward to seeing you in the, in the next one. Um, if you like, please um, subscribe and like because it does help my channel grow and give me more views, etc. Um, and I'll see you next time. Take it easy.